So in this video, I'm going to show you how to compile your GT extension for Android. I'm going to show you how to do that in Windows and Linux. First thing you need to do is to download Android Studio and install that on Windows or Linux. Installing Android Studio will take a while after you finish installing Android Studio and you create a simple project, you will see this window. Now in the tools section, open SDK Manager. Here we need to install some stuff. Godot needs some specific version of some of this stuff. I will put the link of this page down in the video description. So here Godot recommend Godot with API level 33, which I checked that here. And then open SDK tools section. Here you can see the latest version of everything. To see the other version, activate show package detail. Here I checked the version which Godot doc recommend for building and exporting Godot project. This one is really important. You should check this version for Android NDK. After that, you click on apply. It will take a while and it will download and install all of this stuff for you. Now, one thing to note is that you can do all of this stuff with SDK manager in command line without installing Android Studio if you want. So now we should find the SDK home directory path. Usually in Windows, the SDK home folder is in this directory and in Linux is in this directory. But if you cannot find that, don't worry. In Android Studio, click on project and then select project. Then select local properties and this is your Android SDK directory. Now let's build our GD extension for Android. For this example, I will build my train GD extension project. Here we are in GD extension folder. Just open command line here. I assume that you already installed Python and Scans. So you should install these two to be able to build for Android. But in this case, you don't need any C++ compiler because this will use the compiler provided by Android NDK. Type Scans platform equal to Android and then Android Home is equal to where your Android SDK folder is located. Now how these things works and how we can make sure Godot include your GD extension library in your APK. So before explaining about that, let's do the same thing in Linux. I'm not sure why, but in Linux, I get this error. I will tell you how to solve this in a moment. So the way this work is that it is going to use the C++ compiler provided by Android NDK. If you go to this directory, SDK, NDK, Toolchain, LLVM, Prebuilt. Here I am on Linux, so I have a Linux folder. If you are on Windows, the folder name is Windows. So go into that folder, then go to the bin. And basically this is the bin folder for C++ compiler for Android. So here we are building with Clang or Clang++. Both of them are same. This file will refer to another file, which in this case is Clang12. And the problem in my case is that the symbolic link is not made correctly here. So I change the name of these two and I will create a symbolic link for these two. There is another important thing, which is called LLVM Randlib, which this is responsible for linking the libraries. You should correct the symbolic link problem for this also, if you have same problem like me. Now let's see how we can make sure that our GT extension library is included in APK files. First, make sure that you include the Android library inside your .gt extension file. After you build your Android project, if you open your APK file with WinRAR or something similar, in the lib folder, you should see your library with .so extension. In this case, I can see my mtrain library located in here. By the way, I exported the Alien Planet demo to Android and it ran around 12 FPS on my five years old cell phone. This is really amazing as this has really expensive shaders and a big word. But definitely if I bring down the graphics setting, this will work even on Android. So if you have any question, put that in the comment section and have a good time. Until the next video, bye.